The Boeing 777-9 is finally taken to the skies for its crucial certification flight test. But with years of delays and fierce competition from Airbus, can this new jet rise to the challenge? Curious about how Boeing plans to outmaneuver Airbus in the race for the skies? The Boeing 777-X is the latest member of Boeing's popular 777 family. It's a long-range, wide-body jet that's taking aviation technology to new heights. Launched in November of 2013, the 777X comes in two main versions, the 7778 and the 7779. The 7778 seats 384 passengers and can fly up to 8,745 nautical miles, while the larger 7779 accommodates 426 passengers and has a range of over 7,285 nautical miles. These impressive stats show Boeing's ambition to create a more efficient and comfortable flying experience. Now, the development of the 777X began in the early 2010s, aiming to outshine Airbus's revamped A350 XWB. Initially, Boeing proposed three different models, but only the 7778 and 7779 made it to the final design. The 7779, which first took to the skies on January 25th, 2020, is a stretched version of the 777-300ER with a length of over 250 feet. It was designed to be lighter and more fuel efficient with engines that significantly improve fuel burn and operating costs. But despite its innovative design, the 777X has faced multiple delivery delays, first deliveries now expected in 2026. As of June 2024, there are 501 orders for both passenger and freighter versions, indicating strong interest from airlines around the world. Ever wonder what goes into choosing the right engine for a revolutionary aircraft? The Boeing 777X's engine choice has been a crucial factor in its development, which shows the intense competition among top manufacturers. Originally, the 777-200LR and 300ER models used the General Electric GE90-115B engine, known for its impressive 42 to 1 overall pressure ratio and 23 to 1 high pressure compressor ratio. However, the 777X needed a new engine to match its advanced design. Rolls-Royce proposed the RB3025 engine boasting a massive 132 inch fan diameter and a 62 to 1 overall pressure ratio, promising a 10% reduction in fuel burn compared to the GE90-115B. This engine featured a composite fan and advanced materials from their Trent 1000 model. Pratt & Whitney also offered their PW1000G geared turbofan, known for its innovative design, but didn't secure the deal. Ultimately, Boeing chose General Electric's GE9X with a 128-inch fan, a 60 to 1 overall pressure ratio, and a 10% fuel efficiency improvement. The engine's fan is the largest ever made by GE, and it was later upgraded to support higher thrusts and payloads. Despite some disappointment from customers like Air Lease Corporation, who wanted more engine options, Boeing's choice showed a strategic strategic decision to streamline development and reduce costs. Pratt & Whitney noted that optimizing the engine with the aircraft design had become more important than offering multiple options. Do you think Boeing made the right choice with the GE9X engine, or would another option have been more advantageous? Can a giant like Boeing afford to stumble on the road to innovation? The 777X's development faced its own set of challenges. Originally scheduled for a 2019 debut, Boeing's decision to slow down development to reduce risks meant the first deliveries were delayed. The 777X was officially launched in November 2013 with Lufthansa as its first customer. Lufthansa ordered 34 of the larger 777-9X models, while other major airlines like Emirates and Qatar Airways also placed significant orders, making it the largest commercial airline aircraft launch in history by dollar value. In December 2014, Boeing started building a massive 367,000 square foot composites facility in St. Louis, which would be ready by 2016. This facility, equipped with six autoclaves, was crucial for manufacturing the 777X's advanced wing and empennage parts. At the same time, Boeing revamped a section of the Everett factory to start 777X production by the end of 2015. The 777X project hit some milestones in 2015 when Boeing finalized the design for the 777-9 model. Initially, Boeing aimed to begin assembly in 2017 and introduce the aircraft by December 2019, advancing from the original 2020 timeline. However, bridging the gap between the current 777 models and the 777X created a challenge. To stimulate orders, Boeing combined sales of existing 777s with 777Xs and planned to convert used 777s into freighters. Do you think these production delays will affect Boeing's competitive position in the aviation market? Make sure to leave your answers in the comments down below. What happens when cutting-edge technology meets real-world production challenges? By April 2017, Boeing began assembling the first wing spar and other key parts for the 777X. The assembly of the initial nine test aircraft started with planned tests for avionics and power systems. 
Boeing's new $1 billion composite wing center was critical in creating the first composite wings featuring advanced automation for production efficiency. In February 2018, Subaru completed the first aluminum and titanium center wing box crucial for the 777X's structure. Boeing's composite wing center began assembling wing components while fuselage sub-assemblies from Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, Kawasaki Heavy Industries, and Subaru started arriving. A temporary production line was set up to avoid disrupting ongoing 777-300ER production. Is Boeing's relentless drive for innovation worth the delays and setbacks? In March 2018, Boeing kicked off the assembly of the first 777-9 fuselage, aiming to hit key production milestones despite a few hiccups. By May, Qatar Airways' Akbar Al Baker noted that while development was running a bit behind, Boeing was expected to catch up if no major certification issues arose. To keep the existing 777 assembly line running smoothly, Boeing set up a temporary low-rate assembly line to handle up to 38 airframes before transitioning to the main production line in the early 2020s. The first 777X wing was finished in May 2018 for static tests, and by July, Boeing had released 98% of its engineering drawings. The static test aircraft was completed by September, and the assembly of the first flight test aircraft was completed by November. The first prototype, assembled 20% faster than the static airframe, was set to roll out in early 2019, with flight tests beginning in the second quarter. However, production faced delays. By early January 2019, the GE-9X engines were installed, but a compressor anomaly pushed back the maiden flight, originally scheduled for June. GE expressed confidence in resolving the issue by fall, but by July, Boeing announced a delay until 2020 due to ongoing engine problems and other setbacks. Additionally, a test door blew off during an ultimate load test in September, adding further complications. Despite these issues, Boeing planned to continue with its first deliveries in 2020, although they had to adjust by boosting production of current 777 freighters. The FAA's review of Boeing's modifications and the impact on 777X certification remained unclear, which added another layer of uncertainty. In October 2019, Boeing received a flight-compliant GE-9X engine with a second engine expected by month's end. In mid-November, the FAUB robotic system was scrapped in favor of human machinists for final assembly. By then, the first 777 had its flight-compliant engines installed, setting the stage for the long-awaited rollout and first flight. How does Boeing plan to overcome the hurdles that have plagued the 777X project? In 2020, the Boeing 777X project faced increasing scrutiny and delays, partly due to the ongoing investigation into the 737 MAX crashes. Emails revealed that a problematic supplier previously associated with the 737 MAX simulators was still being used for 777X simulators, but on an even tighter schedule. Boeing reassured that the 777X didn't have the maneuvering characteristics augmentation system linked to the 737 MAX crashes. The 777X's first test flight took off on January 25, 2020 from Payne Field in Everett and landed at Boeing Field in Seattle after nearly four hours. The second aircraft took to the skies on April 30th, having completed around 100 hours of testing with the first. The third 777X made its debut flight on August 3, set for further avionics and performance testing. But delays were inevitable, with the first delivery pushed from 2021 to 2022 and then to late 2023 due to new certification requirements and the pandemic's impact on aviation. By June 2021, the FAA extended the certification timeline to mid to late 2023, pushing deliveries to 2024. The FAA's letter pointed to a significant test flight incident and concerns over design maturity. Looking ahead, do you think Boeing's struggles with certification will impact the future of the 777X? Lufthansa and Singapore Airlines are now anticipating deliveries by late 2025 and 2026. What makes the 777X stand out in an already crowded market? The 777X features an innovative design with a new, longer composite wing and folding wingtips. This wing, which improves lift and fuel capacity, allows the aircraft to stay within the size category of the current 777. The folding wing tips designed to fit within current airport gates raise regulatory concerns, requiring the FAA to issue special conditions to ensure their safety and functionality. But the Boeing 777X is all about pushing boundaries and setting new standards, especially when it comes to passenger comfort and efficiency. Internally, it offers a more spacious cabin compared to previous 777 models, with the width expanding from 231 to 235 inches. This change allows for 18-inch wide seats in a 10 abreast economy layout, thanks to thinner cabin walls and improved insulation. The interior design borrows a lot from the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, featuring larger windows, higher ceilings, better humidity control, and a reduced cabin altitude of 6,000 feet. 
The flight deck resembles the 787s with large displays, head-up displays, and touchscreens for more modern control systems, including those for the new folding wingtips. When it comes to efficiency, the 777X doesn't disappoint. The longer 7779 variant is set to achieve around 12 to 13 percent better fuel efficiency compared to its predecessors. This is thanks to new engines and the longer carbon fiber wings, despite the larger structure adding some weight. The 777X promises to be 20 percent more fuel efficient per seat than the current 777-300ER and 13 percent more efficient than the 747-400. The 7778, the shorter variant, should also see a 13 percent improvement in fuel consumption. The 777 is designed to be a bit heavier than the 777-300ER, but aims to maintain at least a 10,000 pound margin at introduction. Valued at $442 million, the 777-9's market price is estimated at around $200 million, which shows its significant role as the largest airliner, surpassing the Boeing 747-8 in length. But will the 777X's advanced features and efficiency be enough to make up for the delays? After years of waiting, is the Boeing 777 finally ready for prime time? The good news is that Boeing has finally kicked off the certification flight testing for its long-delayed 777, marking a crucial step forward after numerous setbacks. The company, suffering from production troubles and legal issues, especially following the significant incidents with the 737 MAX, has announced that it conducted its first flight under the type inspection authorization from the FAA. This milestone is essential as it signifies the start of the formal certification process. With the TIA now in place, FAA pilots are set to start flight testing, which is a critical phase in ensuring the plane meets all regulatory standards. The FAA has made it clear that this rigorous certification process is expected to take several months. The chairman of Emirates, the 777-9's largest customer, has already modified expectations, suggesting that the certification might not come until early 2025. Thanks for joining us on this gripping journey through the events surrounding the Boeing 777. What are your thoughts on the 777-9's long development process? Do you think it's worth the wait? But hey, the excitement doesn't have to end here. If you enjoyed the ride, subscribe for more thrilling tales, and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. And before you go, make sure your seatbelt is fastened and tray tables are up. Safe travels and happy subscribing.